Hello, Warfighters. War is hell. Welcome to the next part, and the last part, actually, of the mission called the Bariga Intervention on Arma 3 Recon. This is where we take a random mission out of the Arma 3 Steam Workshop. I rate it, and I play it for you. So if you enjoy this type of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button to see more of it. If you like this, in, uh, like this video, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. You can join us on our Discord, where we have conversations about things. I know that sounds pretty vague, but it's just things. Uh, and also, please consider donating to the Patreon. It goes to help out the channel quite a bit. So, uh, in the last episode, I took out a couple of AA positions, uh, and then also uh, attacked the Ultra Nationalists in this area. So, I'm moving on to the final part, which there should be a town nearby, where I've got to rescue a hostage and get him to safety. So, oh, there's like three guys up on the road right in front of me. I'm going to get to uh, the road here, and I'm going to lay prone. Just so that way I've got clear eyes on these guys. So I'm going to have everybody open fire with me. Take down these three guys. It shouldn't be a problem at all. Except now I've got to reload, of course, because I didn't pay any attention to that before I just started engaging these guys. Fortunately, they're still up. All right, so I think I got, what, two out of the three? Or maybe I got all of them? It's actually not that great when you consider... I've got seven total guys, including myself, and I have to take down all three of them. Anyway, you can see the town is actually not that far away. We're talking just a little over 300 meters now. And once I get into the town, I can imagine I'm gonna face some stiff resistance in here since I know this is where the Ultra Nationalists are hiding. Uh, since they do have the journalist in the town too, I probably have him at a position that they're defending. There's probably a lot of them around there as well. Uh, since a lot of this has been stealth and just trying to be sneaky and stuff, I might be able to pick a few of them off before they start engaging me if that's what it ends up coming to. Uh, I'll try to see what I can get off of these guys before I kind of move up. I did want to grab the PKP back there, but I decided not to since I've got the suppressor on uh, my AK-103 right now. And I can imagine I'm going to need that extra level of suppression as I'm moving in here. I don't want everybody engaging me all at once. I'm going to move through these trees again for cover. But you can see yeah, just with the way that the fog is, all of that, I don't think I'm going to spot anybody until I get up really close to them. So i got to keep my eyes out to see what I can come up against. And I'm going to have to rely, too, on the AI right here. To give me a good heads up if they spot anything, which chances are they will probably see something before I do. Okay, so I've got a few buildings up ahead. I'm not spotting anybody on the outside of them. Okay, so now they're spotting infantry pretty close to me. And looking on the map here, it looks like they're off over in this direction. I've got six who can open fire on him. And I think I may have him open up here. If he just calls it one more time, I think. He's not calling. He's ready to fire now. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just forget it. There's got to be somebody like this close. I can hear something. Yep, I got an APC around here, so everybody's going to get down. And there it is. It might be hard to see, but he's just stopped, so this is perfect. Right here, just get out my RPG and take out this BTR. Nice, that's all we needed. Okay, since they know we're here, let's just open up on them. If anybody can spot them, take them out, like the crew. This guy just running... Can't see him. He dropped. Is he still up? Yep. Come on. This might be one of the few times where I think I've got better eyes on the enemy than the AI does. As far as, like, those who are at close range. And it looks like that was actually one of the objectives was to take out this APC. Okay, we're taking fire, it sounds like. 
to the left of where that APC was, like down in this direction. So I'm going to head over here. Get moving. Nothing from the APC that I see. Oh, there's somebody here by the house. It looks like you got somebody behind him, too. One's all I need to take him down. There's this other guy. I don't want to stick out too much, too. Oh! He's right around the corner. He's down, too. I swear I saw another weapon. Ah ha ha! Getting some shots on me. Surprised I'm not dead. Alright, I'm going to keep everybody crouching now as opposed to going prone. I had him prone because of the APC. I really could have used that extra support up here. That's ah, a good thing I checked before I just bolted around this corner. Be dead right now. Okay, so I'm gonna move my guys back here, and I'm gonna take care of the guys who are in this building by myself. Because I know if these guys just come right around the corner, they're not gonna pay any attention uh, to what's in the building, and they'll probably get mowed down. I don't think I've lost anybody yet, and I don't want to start losing people now. Try this with a grenade. Ah, I went too far back. Yeah, that didn't do any good. We'll just have to do this with the weapon the old-fashioned way. Reload before I get the other guy that's in here that I can see. Gotta get it. Creeping over. Ah, seriously. There we go. Now he does have an RPG. That's good for me to note in case I come across some more. Oh, jeez. This guy's got to go down. Whew. He got hit, but not a problem. I mean, if I want to, I can grab another med pack or first aid kit off of these guys. Well, they obviously know that we're here. I mean, they probably knew a while ago when I blew up the APC. Uh, we'll grab that RPG. And I don't have a backpack, so I'll just take the RPG carrier. Um, that way I can stick at five mags, too. Okay, there's a ton of goats around here. If there is somebody in here, I can imagine there's somebody in there. Think that was a person? Yep, we've got guys over at this barn. Wow. Okay, I'm going to have to move up to it. Because it looked like that they were on the outside, like in the area where most of the goats are. There's somebody. Come on, I gotta drop him. Seriously. I can get the goat, but not the guy. Peter's gonna be pissed. Let's see. Alright, so I know I've got a guy deeper back there. I probably got some guys that are at the windows too, firing right at me so this is not going to help me too much um i'm just gonna have to try and reposition i think is really what i'm gonna have to do to get to an area where i can take these guys out okay nervous about going across the street but i'm gonna have to get up close to these guys to really take them out yeah. Get everybody else here to try and move up with me here at least before I start pushing across. Nobody's firing at me here, so I'm wondering if there's anybody in these windows. Oh, there's somebody. Just walked right out the door and right back in the door. All right, so I know I've got somebody at least over on this side. Not in the main area, but in those windows that are facing me here. Just to the right of that white door that I'm looking at. Seriously, where did everybody go? 
all in their like combat stance and stuff and aren't gonna be pushing up. Well I'm taking some fire. Gotta keep moving. Try and rush through this. Stay low. Don't see the guy that was off over to the right. Oh, nice. Thank you. They got the guy who was in the door off to the left over here. Oh, I think there was like another person that was in inside there that had been killed. All right. There's that guy who's been walking in and out of that door. All right. Got to take them all down. There's another one. Wow. I mean, that was, there was a lot of guys in there. That would have been a good time for me to throw a, oh, there's still one more. It'd be a good time for me to throw a grenade in there, I guess. There we go. Okay, so I think we've got this farmhouse cleared now. At least, I'm going to go in here. See what I can scrounge off of this guy. Probably going to need some more mags. Okay, what are they firing at now? Clear. This left part? Anybody in here? No. Okay, time to find out what these guys are shooting at. I don't see anything in this road. Potapenko! No! Whoever's number two. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's still up. Time to get him patched up. Treat himself before we start moving up over this way. Okay, do we have anybody in this little barn here? I'm being shot at. I feel like it's probably being shot through the doors. So open up the doors, run off, and then come back here real quick. Got a goat in here. And nobody. Okay, so this area up ahead. Got the medic running down here. I'm wondering if this is where... Yep. Oh, wait, nope, that's not a person. Could have sworn that one was. Those three pipes looked like it was somebody's helmet. Okay, I'm going to stick to the wall off to my right. Just kind of move along this because... If I've got the wall right behind me, that's one less direction I need to be concerned with. Okay, not seeing anybody yet. There's like an opening over there. My guys are calling for a sniper around here. Still nothing. If there is a sniper, he's probably up here on this second level oh we've got like a small opening just right through here oh and a couple guys watching this here too he's down okay what else do we got now I can just sweep across here basically well, I think I got a couple of guys that are moving in now Nobody off over to the extreme right. Oh. Come on. Take him down. I can't get in through here. Try and crawl. Also can't go in through it. Man. Okay. Well. They obviously got in over that direction, but... I'm wondering... This is where enhanced movement comes in. A little dangerous, but only way for me to get in here. Okay, so I could duck my head around or poke my head around here. Take out that guy. Oh, looks like they've taken out two of my guys. There's another one at the edge of this. Dropped him too. See if anybody's in between these crates. Am I being shot at here? So yeah, three and five are dead. 
right at my feet now. Still not seeing anybody. Over here. No, I think we're clear. Okay. Well, here's the journalist. Little jump here, because I have this space button match to um, enhance movement. Okay. All right, so he's up. Um... Pretty sure he's joined my team now. Oh, I thought he was like doing a push up or something. Alright, so we've completed this. So we're going to get to the extraction point on here. Um, so we'll get everybody together. Oh, who are you engaging, bro? Don't scare me like this. Like, this would be the worst time, hands down, for this journalist to get killed. It's like, right when I've gotten to the point here where, got him saved, but he, like, accidentally goes outside. Out of the door. Or just even magically goes through the door and gets taken out. Alright, I'm hearing a chopper. Now the extraction icon is the chopper. So I'm wondering if that's a friendly one. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get everybody here in this main area. Oh, okay. There he is, I think. I get going, man. Where's this fire coming from? Not gonna be a big deal. It's just time to get out of here. Alright, since we've got everybody here now, to have them go into the chopper. These guys are going to get out of here. I think I'm going to go and try and clear this area too. I, I think getting in here is the last objective. There might be one more. I'm wondering if it is to clear through here. I can't remember, but rather than having these guys just all get in, uh, I'm going to have them all get out except for the, uh, the hostage. Because, like, right now I just want to make sure at least that they're clear. I don't want somebody sneaking up, taking out the chopper, all of that. And then I end up losing. Because I have had that happen before. Like, go through the entire mission, work my butt off to secure everybody, and then there's just one guy who gets a lucky RPG hit on my chopper. And I'm down. Alright, so I'm going to get on the move here. i just kind of go through. Go through it. Oh, I have gone ahead and cleared all the objectives, but you know what? It's cool. I just want to see if there's there is anybody else around here just for kicks to see what I could have missed out on or there's an easier way to go about completing this okay so we've got a desk first floor of that building oh we've got a bunker up ahead oh we've got two guys that are in in this area Open that door. Oh. Open up one more door. Got him. I guess maybe those trucks should have been a indicator that we had hostiles over here. Gotta be careful as I'm going down this street. thought I saw a guy in one of those windows. Okay, so we've got an armed vehicle. Somebody in a turret here at the top. Yep, yeah, he's turning my way. Ignore me! He's down. 
I wonder if he could have seen me though. If, like, he knew I was firing from this direction. All right, so that checkpoint's clear. It wasn't a bunk or anything, just a camo netting over that vehicle. Do I have anybody else around here? Oh, my guys are taking fire. Oh. Got someone in this building. Is there any more, though? Yep. Got more here. Okay, I think this first floor is clear. I'm still taking fire from somewhere, though. Well, there's a vehicle in front of this building, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's enemies in here. Rather than getting up super close, I'm going to see if I can go around. Oh, hi. Good thing I was looking in front of me. Oh, there's still somebody else. There was somebody else. Anybody in this building? Sure doesn't look like it. Some more fire off in the distance. Yeah, there's somebody right there. Make sure nobody hits me on my left flank. Oh, being shot at. Oh, another person in the main area. Nice. I'm nervous to run up there because, yep. We got somebody in the second story. I don't know if there's anybody else. I feel like I have to rush in here to get some more cover. Oh, what? Oh, I'm so lucky. Oh, that was sheer luck. Nothing else. Like, I should be dead. And honestly, rightfully so. That guy just barreled right around the corner. It almost took me out. Anybody else here in the second story of this building? All right, so I've got my guys getting out of the helicopter because this is ridiculous. Somebody's engaging him. Yeah, if this was, like, legit, I mean, obviously we would have barreled out. Gotten out of here as quickly as we could have with the hostage and all the guys who are left. All right. Um, I'm going to have him actually... Come to me here probably in a second if I feel like I can't get out of here without getting shot at. Or there might be some guys on the other side of the building, and I just don't want to be shot in the back as I move. So if I have them come to me, they should be able to engage the guys that uh, might be facing my direction. At least clear the way between me and the helicopter. Hello, goat. Watch, they all get wiped out or something like that, and this was just a waste of all of them. I mean, they don't have far to go. Save it right here just because I'm so nervous. I'm gonna like step out here and just get offed. Okay, gonna move up just a little bit more. There's that opening in the playground, and that fence over by the playground. Sneak in here. Just a small confined space for me. I don't think there is anybody over on this side. But I think what I'm going to do is just. Yep, this area is clear. Aha! Intel. I forgot that's the thing I'm going for. I felt like there was something else. Where's that coming from? Oh, second story. There we go. Did that get him? No. 
Nice to throw a grenade up in there. Alright, I should send them to the chopper. Alright, so they met up with me. I'm safe. There's just this one guy, I think. And I'm not going to go without this guy. At least without taking him out. Alright. Here goes nothing. Oh! There's another guy in there. Um. Flashbang. That even do anything. It did nothing. How am I still alive? This is like the second time I should be dead. Let's try this again. Probably not uh, in any pain or anything. Especially with how long I've been waiting. But I can't fit through the door. Alright, we're good. In here, we also good. Yes. Okay, I feel like this is clear. Time to head back. I've got all the intel now. All right, so while I'm heading back to the chopper here. I don't expect to come across any enemy, considering um, my guys kind of went through here a little bit. And still, didn't take any fire or anything like that. And they're loading up in the choppers. Why is two taking so long to get to the helicopter? Ah, oh, he's dead. From that guy, not going to care. Let's just go. Getting out of here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give the ratings here for this mission. Again, this is called the Bariga Intervention, uh, brought to you by Minoc. And so, uh, per tradition, I'm going to go through a few of these categories and provide you ratings uh, on a scale of up to five stars. So zero to five stars is what, what you could get for this. Uh, mission difficulty, I'm going to give this four and a half out of five stars. I think this was uh, done very, very well. In most cases, uh, the enemy that we came up against, we actually outnumbered the enemy, which was nice considering most of the time when you play this, it's usually there's four of you like going up against an entire town, but in the various engagements that we had uh, we had numerical superiority and we also had uh, better skill I felt like too like the few times that I was going up against uh, the enemy there were times where I should have gotten wasted by them uh, and taken out that just didn't happen and I think it's because the skill setting was was down but it makes sense you know you're you're spesnaz you're elite you're going to shoot better than the enemy is uh, so I think the only place I'm going to give it uh, or knock it that point five stars is I feel like it could have been a little bit more difficult uh, just because I you know those two times that I messed up I should have been penalized for it and have been killed but can't complain too much because uh, I thought it was done very well considering the size and scale of the engagements here uh, scripting complexity I'm gonna go ahead and give this one uh, four out of five stars there was a lot that was done in here like at the beginning there was a uh, a short animation about what was going on. Uh, I thought, you know, the way that uh, everything was scripted as far as like triggers and stuff was, was spot on. Uh, a lot of things done to the map. Just a whole bunch of like little things, but it was done so well that, um, you know, it really came together very, very well. So that's why I'm going to give him high marks uh, on scripting complexity. Replayability. I'm going to give him three and a half out of five stars here. Uh, obviously, with this, it, it is pretty linear. You're not going to have different options on what you want to tackle next. Uh, everything is going to be in the same place that it was before. I mean, you can do some small things like maybe you don't go back for the intel like I did in that mission. Or um, maybe you come into the town from a different angle. Maybe you choose not to engage. Uh, as many people as I did. You have some flexibility there, but overall the mission's going to play basically the same. Still good, but uh, it's not going to be uh, that mixed up. So that's why I would give him that rating. Uh, presentation. This is the... Gosh. The only thing that I can knock this guy on was uh, 
no like voiceovers or like uh, voice acting done on it. So this is probably the highest I've given anybody. Four and a half out of five stars here on presentation. I loved the map that it was done on. Uh, I loved the snow. I loved the fog. It was perfect. Even the way that the uh, mission changed the color on the screen too to be more like black and white. Like you don't have nearly as much saturation of color uh, because of the various settings of the mission. That was awesome. Um, there's so many things about this too, especially from the visual standpoint. Like I said, yeah, at the beginning you had a little bit of an animation there, uh, which kind of helped set the story. You also had um, a nice setup on the map that helped tell the story a little bit more too. Like this is the area that is controlled by the ultra nationalists. This is where you cross the border, stuff like that. It was very well done. Like I think of all the missions that I played, uh, and this is me saying a lot right here because this is where I usually knock a lot of people. This is exactly what I would want to see from a mission like this. So my knock, I highly doubt you're watching this, but seriously, hands down, this is the best mission I've ever played when it came to the presentation and feel nicely done. So overall, uh, for this mission, I'm going to go and I'm going to give him four and a half out of five stars here, which uh, very few missions have ever gotten that. This was a phenomenal mission. I highly recommend you guys get this one and you play through it once because once you kind of go through this and you get the idea on like this is the type of content that's out there. I think this represents Arma very well. It's absolutely enjoyable. So high marks right here. Again, Minoc, way to go. I love this one. So that's going to be it here for this episode. Remember more of this to come later on because I do like getting these random missions out of the Arma 3 Steam Workshop and playing them for you because you're going to find some real gems just like this one you're also going to find some not so good ones of course but hey that's just uh, the name of the game but without uh, people getting feedback on their missions they're not going to get any better so thanks again for watching again like this video if you enjoyed what you saw subscribe for more of this type of content which will be coming later on uh, feel free to go ahead and join our discord and also feel free to donate to the patreon to help this channel out a ton thanks again for watching i sure do appreciate it war as hell you don't have to worry because Warfighters, I've got your six.